Hey, how's it going, guys? Welcome back to another video. And today we will be covering potential trades for Eric Gordon. Now, if you haven't noticed already, we have been trying to move a lot of our veterans for younger players and also draft capital. And Eric Gordon is one of the last, actually the last remaining player from the legacy era Rockets who were contending for championships with Harden, Chris Paul, Russell Westbrook, all of those names. Everyone else is gone. Gordon is the only one remaining. And if 99% of the reports that have been coming out are true, Gordon is next to be moved. And so we have come up with a with three mock trades to three contending or trying to contend teams that could use Eric Gordon, starting with the Golden State Warriors, with Eric Gordon being given to Golden State for Kelly Oubre, which would happen via a sign and trade if he was interested to come here, and a pick swap in 2023. Right. Okay. So I actually uh, like this trade out of the three that will give you the most for the Rockets. We get Kelly Oubre, who's uh, a fairly young and he's been on like mediocre teams his pretty much his entire career and teams that just like, they were on the verge of, you know, like contending, but like they're right in the middle of between contending and, you know, like being in the lottery and trying to like rebuild. So they really just like, they, they threw him around. He played in Washington, then he played in um, Phoenix and he got traded to the Oklahoma City Thunder and then got traded to the Golden State Warriors. So he's been passed around a bit. And I feel like this trade for the Rockets would definitely be good. Um, if we did get into the details of the sign trade, it would be around uh, 15 to $16 million for Kelly Oubre which I do think he would take because I really don't see him making more than like $12 million in free agency. This whole sign and trade would definitely be like up to him, whether he wants to come to Houston, whether he does want to take the, the salary that Eric Gordon is making. And I definitely think that that would be a smart decision for him financially speaking, because he's not old older. So he doesn't really like want to be on a, contending team or maybe he does we don't know but assuming that he just wants to you know get his money and you know play for right now this would be a great team for both the Warriors and the Rockets as the Warriors also get a good six man for once Clay Thompson comes back and they're starting to compete again they can have their line they're starting five of you know Curry Thompson Wiggins Green and Wiseman and off the bench have Eric Gordon come in and keep that spark alive with Jordan Poole. Yeah, and I think Eric Gordon could really play the role of a backup six-man type of role that he was already starting to play for the Houston Rockets when we were contending for championships. And I think him behind Steph Curry, Klay Thompson, I think that would be a perfect fit for the Warriors. And it's definitely a better fit than what they've been having with Kelly Oubre right now, where Oubre's play style has just not been the best fit for them around Steph Curry, especially without Klay Thompson. You want to put as many shooting options around Steph Curry as you can. And Kelly Oubre has not been that for them. And I think for them, moving Oubre is the best idea. Give Andrew Wiggins some more freedom, some more breathing room at that wing position. And I think this would be a win-win. You know, Kelly Oubre is in age very similar to our other young core in Christian Wood, who's 25, Jay Sean Tate is 25, Kelly Oubre also 25 years old, fits very seamlessly into that timeline. So I think this makes a lot of sense. And as far as the pick swap goes, this isn't a huge deal, but the reason why we did set it as 2023 is because there are two potential pick swaps that we could do, which is 2022 and the 2023 that we chose. It's a lot likelier that the Rockets will actually be able to use the pick swap in 2023 because there's a lot better chance that the Rockets will be better than the Warriors in 2023 because of the young guys developing. Um, whoever we get in the draft, whether it be this year or next year, it will be that'll definitely obviously improve us potential free agent signings. And of course, also the Warriors regressing a little bit because of uh, Steph Curry as he ages, Clay Thompson. We don't know how good he'll be when he's back and all of that. I think that sets it up perfectly so that in 2023 we can put ourselves in a position where the Rockets and the Warriors can swap picks. And that of course will benefit us as we are looking to collect as many picks as possible from other teams. And so I think this trade makes sense for both teams. The Rock, the Warriors get what they need in a 
3 and D wing who can come off the bench and give some more floor spacing next to Steph Curry, which they have desperately needed if you've seen their play this season. And the Rockets get rid of one of their last remaining uh, older guys from the Harden era and also get back a young-ish player and a potential first round pick swap in the future. Now, the next trade that we will be looking at from the three mock trades that we've listed right now is one involving the Miami Heat. And this one is my personal favorite. This, I think, gives us the perfect combination of a potential young player that we can develop, a veteran player who I think could be very valuable in mentoring our um, young guys, and also a first-round pick, which could convey in the future to us and help us draft another role player in the late first round. And this trade involves sending Eric Gordon to the Miami Heat for Andre Iguodala, Casey Akpala, and a 2024 first-round pick which would be lottery protected. A lot of interesting aspects in this trade that I think could be a win-win for both sides. And I think especially it would be, in my opinion, the best benefit for the Houston Rockets. Right, right. I actually also agree with you. It is a really good trade for both sides. You know, Andre Guadalla was one of the best defensive players and it could really be a great mentor to our forwards like KJ Martin, like Jay Sean Tate, and even to like Christian Wood. You know, you never know. Oh, and also in for KZ Apollo, who was coming here. KZ Apollo was a project player coming out of the draft. The Heat took him, and he really just hasn't gotten much playing time. As, you know, the Heat were always trying to, you know, like, compete, be in the playoff, do their thing. And, you know, uh, KZ being as young as he is, as raw as he is, they never really focused that player development into him. But with this trade and him coming into a situation like in Houston, where he can focus on player development and focus on, you know, expanding his game. And he also fits our timeline very well at just 22 years old. I definitely like this trade as well. The Heat get Eric Gordon, who's, you know, uh, he can also just play good backup um, six man minutes, assuming that they, you know, have Tyler Hero starting or, um, and I, because they have been running Victor Oladipo at the point guard. So, you know, having him as that veteran, you know, shooting, scoring, um, six man coming off the bench to make sure that the, the offense doesn't take a toll because their um, bench is, doesn't have too much depth. It's, and they're really just playing like, you know, the, the, this would just be a good trade for them in general and, as, and also for the Rockets with the lottery protected first round pick. Yeah, and the fact that the lottery protected pick, it's very likely that that pick will eventually go to the Rockets because they're one of the Miami Heat's biggest centerpieces is Bam Adebayo, who, as we all know, is very young. And so there is a very good chance that the Miami Heat will be a playoff team in 2024. And that's not even mentioning guys who could, they could sign in free agency because we know Miami is a very hot destination for big name free agents. And so it is a very good possibility that we do end up getting that pick in 2024. And again, Casey Paula, another guy who is a project player. We have a lot of those on hand right now. Kenyon Martin Jr., Tate himself, a little bit of a project player. Um, you have other guys like Kyrie Thomas. I think I would say he's a project player. And a lot of these guys who I think Casey Paula would fit in really nice with them. These guys who are going to hustle on both ends of the floor. Uh, Casey Paula, defensive playmaker, very, very good on the defensive side of the ball, can improve on offense, but I think that's what he's here for in Houston to develop his offensive game. And we've seen that from players like Jay Shante. He came into the league with not a lot of offensive ability, of course, besides uh, his hustle plays inside the paint, but he has developed into a very considerable and dangerous outside shooter as well. And I think we can see something similar with Casey Paula if he is given time to develop and that playing time in Houston, which he will be, which he hasn't gotten in Miami, only averaging around 12 minutes a game. He'll definitely get a lot more than that on the Rockets. And of course, Iguodala is one of the most well-respected, um, well-admired um, veterans in the league. He's a guy who can mentor anybody, has all the uh, check marks for being a veteran leader. He has the work ethic, and I think he can be a great mentor for our young guys, not just at our position, at that position, but also for anyone he can teach them and get them that veteran leadership that we do need very, very badly. And so in my opinion, this is without a doubt the best trade. But the last trade that we will be looking at right now for the Rockets is involving the Denver Nuggets. Now, this trade has Gordon going to the Nuggets for 
Will Barton and two second round picks. We put 2021 and 2024 in here, but it can really be any two second round picks because at the end of the day, none of them are very valuable at all. The picks attached just so that there is something that of benefit that the Rockets do get besides just the one player and Will Barton. And I think that is something that the Rockets would want. Again, they're fine taking any pick. It doesn't matter if it is a first round or a second round pick. Uh, at the end of the day, you're not going to be expecting a first in this deal because Gordon and Barton, while Gordon is quite considerably better than Will Barton, he is also a couple of years older and also on a slightly more expensive contract. And so the fact that the Nuggets would I want to give up a couple second round picks or maybe the Rockets would ask for a couple second round picks. It does make sense. And so this trade makes sense in my opinion for both teams. Um, the Nuggets get what they could really use in a guy to put around Nikola Jokic who he can play good defense. He can space the floor, gives another weapon for Jokic to play. We already know how elite of a playmaker he's been. Another weapon for him to play with. And as for the Rockets, this trade isn't really about Will Barton. He, I think he can be like a veteran leader type of guy. But this is just more of a matching contract for a matching contract. And then two second round picks as a sort of a sweetener, which the Rockets could use to maybe pick up some role players. We've seen what they can do in the second round with a guy like KJ Martin. And so maybe pick up a role player or something like that, or maybe just some trade bait. But again, a very interesting trade package because of those two second round picks and also just the salary match. But this is probably not the most interesting trade compared to the other two. And yeah, again, it's about this Will Bond trade. This this really isn't about him. And also, um, we, I think we forgot to mention before, Will Barton, in order for this trade to happen, would have to accept his player option for the 2021-2022 season, in which he's making around 14 to $15 million. And then we do get the two second round picks. And this really just gets us off of Eric Gordon's contracts um, two years early, assuming that the the team that he gets to declines hit, or declines his option or that his non-guaranteed deal. And it really just gets us off the contract. So his contract and Will Barton's would be off the books. We, we probably would not keep Will Barton long-term unless he does agree to resign for say a veteran minimum, considering he is already 30 years old and will be 31 by the time his contract is over. But, you know, the two second round picks are there. They're just for us, more draft capital we can use in a trade. We could draft, like he mentioned, uh, a guy who could have high upside like KJ Martin did. And yeah, this is definitely just a, a safe trade. There's no wrong. You can't like get worse with this. You can't really get better. It's just, you know, a swap, get Eric Gordon to a contender, bring Will Barton here for a year and then, you know, let him walk in. We just get the picks in the end. Yeah, and again, like you said, this is not about the players. You know, this is not about Will Barton. This is about the picks. Now, again, this might be a scenario where Will Barton has like this Kelly Olynyk resurgence in Houston, but it's unlikely. And so this is just about getting Gordon off of here for a matching contract and just some sweetener in the couple second round picks. Probably the most boring trade here, but it does get the job done. And I think that's all that the Rockets are looking for. You can't ask for much when you are trading such an unfavorable contract like Eric Gordon. And I think this will perfectly do the trick. You know, both of these teams get what they need. The Rockets don't get what they want, like they would in maybe a trade with the Heat or with the Golden State Warriors. But this will get the job done just fine. And who knows what those second round picks might become in the future. And that will just about wrap it up. Again, there are so many teams that could use Eric Gordon that we haven't mentioned in this video because there are so many potential teams that he could go to. The video would get too long if we mentioned all of them. So leave them down in the comments below and we will talk about them down there below. And as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And we'll see you in the next video. Peace.